It goes without saying that the kidneys are one of the most essential organs in the human body because they help remove waste, maintain fluid balance, and filter minerals and toxic substances in the blood. So in order to take care of your overall health, you must focus on taking good care of your kidneys and urinary system. In this video, we're going to break down some of the best methods that you can use to detox and cleanse your kidneys in a natural way. Be sure to stick around until the end to learn about one method that far too many people overlook. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Just a quick reminder, this video is for informational purposes only. But the first and most important way to take care of your kidneys is to stay hydrated. Staying hydrated makes it easier for your kidneys to perform their duties by removing toxins and waste in the form of urine, which means that your urine is the best indicator of dehydration. To check, you can simply observe the amount and the color of urine that is produced. The average person typically expels around six cups of urine each day. So if you're not urinating enough, this most likely means that you aren't drinking enough water and you probably need to increase your healthy fluid intake. Also, your urine should be clear or close to clear in color. It's okay to have a slightly yellow tone, but if it has a dark yellow color, it likely means that you are dehydrated. The good news is, as you increase your fluid intake, the color should begin to lighten and become more clear. Some other signs of dehydration include headache, dry mouth, dizziness, and fatigue. If you notice any of these signs regularly, simply drinking more water can give your kidneys a boost and likely help you start feeling better. Drinking eight glasses of water per day is the general recommendation, however, each person is different and your body may require more or less than that amount. The next way to detox your kidneys is to limit your sodium intake. If you eat a sodium rich diet, you are most definitely not alone. On average, Americans consume around 3,400 milligrams of sodium per day, which exceeds the recommended intake by more than 1,000 milligrams. Consuming too much sodium is not good at all for your kidneys because first, a high sodium diet increases the amount of calcium in your urine, which increases your risk of forming kidney stones. Also, sodium can cause high blood pressure, which has negative effects on the kidneys as well by damaging the arteries that carry blood to the kidneys, which over time can ultimately result in kidney failure. If you want to reduce sodium intake, one easy way to do so is to limit the amount of processed foods that you eat in your diet. And this ties into the next method, which is to eat a diet that supports the kidneys. We've already established that eating processed foods that are high in sodium is not good for your kidneys. Instead, you can opt for fresh foods that are loaded with nutrients and antioxidants in order to give your kidneys a nice little boost. You've most likely heard the saying that an apple a day can keep the doctor away, right? Well, this includes the kidney doctor as well. Apples and other fruits are loaded with antioxidants, vitamin C, and fiber that have anti-inflammatory properties which provide some great benefits for your kidneys. Some other fresh vegetables that you can consider include kale, spinach, and sweet potatoes. Each of these superfoods contains vitamins and minerals that studies have found to be effective in providing your kidneys with a detoxifying boost. You can also consider adding more fish to your diet as well because fish is loaded with omega-3 fatty acids. And this is important because studies found that they can significantly reduce the risk of end-stage renal disease or delay its progression. Sure, these foods are good for your waistline, but now you know just how good they can be for your kidneys as well. You can also consider adding healthy vitamins and supplements to your routine. Just as the lungs need oxygen, your kidneys require proper vitamins and nutrients as well in order to keep them functioning properly. One example that we should mention is vitamin B6. Studies found that this vitamin reduces calcium oxalate, which ultimately reduces the risk of developing kidney stones. Another one that you should know about is angiographis. Studies found that this herb contains properties that can be beneficial in reducing the toxic effects that occur from alcohol consumption. More research is needed in this area, but preliminary findings are promising. Some other vitamins and supplements that offer kidney benefits include 
alpha-lipoic acid, moringa, N-acetylcysteine, resveratrol, probiotics, and even vitamin D. To be safe, it's always best to check with your doctor before adding any new supplements to your regimen because they will know more about your individual condition. Moving right along, something else that you could consider is to try apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is often recommended as a popular home remedy for a variety of different ailments. Many don't realize that it offers positive benefits for the kidneys as well. In fact, research suggests that apple cider vinegar can even help to break up or prevent kidney stones from occurring. This is mostly thanks to one of its primary ingredients known as acetic acid, which is believed to help dissolve kidney stones so that they can pass more easily. Apple cider vinegar also has alkalizing effects on the blood and urine, which helps to prevent new kidney stones from forming. Another consideration to make when it comes to the health of your kidneys is to avoid too much caffeine. Caffeine is a staple in many of our diets. I mean, I'll admit it. On most days, I probably consume more caffeine than I should. And I know I'm not alone. With that said, it's important to know that consuming too much caffeine can place a strain on your kidneys. That is because, as you know, caffeine is a stimulant, which means that it causes your heart rate and blood pressure to increase, which can inadvertently have negative effects on the kidneys. With that said, caffeine is generally safe, even for those with kidney disease, as long as it's consumed in moderation. Just try not to overdo it. Not only should you avoid taking in too much caffeine, you should also try to avoid artificial sweeteners as well. You may have already swapped processed sugar for artificial sweeteners as a way to be healthier and consume fewer calories. This makes sense, right? Consuming less calories should equate to weight loss. Unfortunately, studies found that the opposite seems to be true. Artificial sweeteners actually negatively affect our taste buds which stimulates an increased appetite and causes overeating to occur. This contributes to weight gain, which increases the risk of a stroke, hypertension, and cardiovascular disease. And to top it all off, unfortunately, this also results in an increased risk of type 2 diabetes and kidney disease as well. The most common culprits include sucralose, saccharin, and aspartame. Instead, you can opt for natural sweeteners such as honey, maple syrup, or agave nectar. Just be sure to do so in moderation. When it comes to kidney health, you should definitely take advantage of the benefits of lemon juice. Like apple cider vinegar, natural lemon juice also contains properties that work to increase citrate levels in your urine, which helps break up and prevent kidney stones. Lemon juice also provides filtering effects to your blood, which helps flush toxins and waste out of the body. As you know, the kidneys function as our body's primary filtration system, so adding lemon juice helps to make their job easier. The next method for detoxing your kidneys is to try herbal teas. Herbal teas have been used medicinally for thousands of years for everything from weight loss to a full body detox. As I'm sure you're probably aware, they can be used for detoxing the kidneys as well in order to keep them functioning optimally. Herbal teas are often loaded with antioxidants which provide anti-inflammatory effects among other cleansing benefits. Studies found that they can even reduce the risk of developing kidney stones as well. Some examples that you can consider testing out include nettle leaf tea, turmeric tea, and dandelion tea. And one of the most controversial methods of detoxing the kidneys is to try a two-day kidney cleanse. This is a technique that can be implemented where you set aside a two-day time period where you only consume foods and liquids that are optimal for your kidneys. As we mentioned earlier, your kidneys act as the filtration system for the body by removing toxins and waste. During this short time period, by taking in only the most optimal nutrients, your kidneys can truly flush out most of the excess toxins in your body to get your renal system in the best possible condition. This diet can include any combination of juices, teas, herbs, smoothies, 
and foods that only work to improve the overall health of your kidneys. You can look at some of the foods and supplements that were mentioned in this video and do more research online to find what you think would work best for you. Keep in mind that the NCCIH states that there isn't any clinical evidence to suggest that these cleansing programs are effective. However, anecdotal experiences from individuals seem to have good results. Just to be safe, as always, it's best to check with your doctor first, especially if you have any type of underlying condition. Most of us can probably keep our kidneys in optimal shape simply by eating a healthy diet and drinking plenty of water. But now you know some alternative techniques that you can consider. Real quick, if you don't mind, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. I hope you like the information that was shared in this video and hopefully you're now one step closer to taking better care of your kidneys and thus your overall health. Keep in mind though, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. But I do want to know, which of these methods is your favorite? Which ones will you be implementing and testing out? Let me know down in the comment section below. And just a reminder, we do have a full guide on this topic on our website. I'll drop a link to it right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.